All right, welcome everyone. This is Jordan Berry, Instructional Designer at Hack. And this video is designed to give you an overview of the annotation tools that you have available to you in Zoom. So once you're in your Zoom meeting, you're going to want to hit the share button to share either your screen or a whiteboard, as these are the two areas where annotation tools are available. So we're going to start out by using the screen option. So now we're sharing our screen out to the participants. And let's say we want to pull up a PowerPoint presentation as you would in one of your lectures. So the PowerPoint's up and we can use the presentation mode or the slideshow mode to full screen it to give them a better experience. And we can use the left and right arrows on the keyboard to move through the slides. So let's say we want to annotate or highlight some information that's on our slide. What we're going to do is access the toolbar that has now been moved to the top of the screen because we're sharing and push our mouse up there for the toolbar to pop down. And we're going to click annotate. All right, once we click annotate, you'll see that a new drop down appears with a bunch of annotation tools on it. So the default annotation tool is the draw function. So I'll give you a disclaimer. If you're using your mouse or trackpad, it's going to be difficult to annotate. Uh, it's not going to look very smooth. So if you do have a personal tablet that you can connect to your computer, you can use the annotation tool using that pad, which will make your annotations a lot better. So because we don't have one hooked up, we're just going to look at the basic functions that annotation can provide. All right, so the draw tool. So we can draw anywhere on the screen. Great. Um, you can also select different types of things to draw arrows. You can draw boxes, okay, and shapes to annotate. All right, uh, another tool that you have available to you is the text tool. So you can add text on your screen for everyone to see, and you can grab it and drag it around as well, okay? All right, so another option is the stamp tool. So there's just a number of stamps you could use or the spotlight tool. The spotlight tool is useful because it kind of acts like a laser pointer. Um, but just be aware if you do click, it's going to move to the next slide. Really, this is just um, a way to display where your mouse is moving to the uh, participants in the session. All right, and of course, there's the eraser tool. And we click that, and we can click on any of our annotations, and they'll disappear. And we have the undo and redo functions. So if we made a mistake and we want it back again, we can undo, and we undo that delete. If we didn't want that line, we can redo the delete, and it disappears. So we have the clear tool. You can clear all the drawings on the screen. You can clear only my drawings, which are the host drawings. Or you can clear the viewer's drawings. So what the viewers are seeing. All right, so the last option, which is an important option, is the save function. So if you hit the save function, basically what's going to happen is Zoom is going to take a screenshot of this screen with annotations included. And it's going to save it to your Zoom folder and your documents folder on your computer. So you can access that at another time and share it with your students so your students can see those annotations again. So let's go ahead and click that. And you'll see that the screen has been saved. And we can show in folder. That will open up the folder where the annotations exist on the computer. Now you'll see the annotations are on top. That's because the annotations are on the top layer of the screen share. So we're going to click mouse to be able to use our mouse and move it around. You'll see that they're sitting up there. Um, we're going to clear these annotations just to show you how that works and to show you what the screenshot's going to look like. So now I'm going to open up the screenshot that's been saved. And you'll see we have the screenshot with annotations all included in this file. And so you can share this with students in D2L uh, for them to review at any time. OK, another, <clears throat> another thing that you can do is set up a blank slide in your slideshow to serve as a whiteboard. So yes, Zoom has a whiteboard function, but you can also use this method to annotate um, a lot quicker if you don't want to switch back and forth between sharing your screen and sharing a whiteboard. You can just create a blank slide in your PowerPoint presentation that you can then annotate and save. All right, so those are the basic functions of annotation tools. 
and they also work in a whiteboard too. We'll just show you very briefly. So we'll have to stop this share and we'll start a new share with the whiteboard tool. All right, so here we are with the whiteboard tool and we can make our annotations. Again, it's very difficult to type on a track pad, but we're trying it out here. Again, if you have a personal tablet that you can hook up to your laptop, it'll make annotating much simpler. All right, so again, we can save this. It will save to our folder. We can show it in the folder and we can check it out. We'll see that we have a whiteboard annotation. So those are the basics of annotating in Zoom. Please feel free to reach out at any point if you have any questions about how to set this up. Good luck.